When Pierre Angeli was 13, she reportedly suffered a bout with pleurisy and pneumonia, reportedly visually pale and thin at the time. Being raised in Italy, Angeli lived a sheltered lifestyle, which immediately changed with the innovation of an acting career in the 1950s. Angeli had experienced multiple romantic relationships during her time in Hollywood with actors such as Eddie Fisher and John Drew Barrymore. She had a relationship and brief engagement to Kirk Douglas, and most notably a brief relationship with James Dean that ended before his fatal car accident on September 30, 1955. The relationship ended after a few months in mid-1954 due to disapproval from Angeli's family since Dean was not a Catholic. After his death, her emotional state was negatively altered, even with a swift marriage to American actor and singer Vic Damone months later on November 24, 1954. Angeli would enter a griefful mindset and was known to attest at times that Dean was the love of her life despite her future romantic endeavors. Damone and Angeli later had one child, a son named Perry, on August 21, 1955. Angeli would suffer a miscarriage with her second child with Damone a year after. Angeli had been blacklisted from Hollywood after opting out of her contract with MGM in 1957 after a strong suggestion by her husband. Angeli would move back to her native Italy and continue her career. Damone and Angeli would later divorce in 1958 amid ambivalent relations, which brought on a publicized custody battle in court for their son that lasted several years. During the years of custody battles, her professional career began vanquishing, and Angeli struggled with alcohol abuse. Angeli ultimately was declared to have majority legal custody of her son in 1965. Angeli would remarry during her custody battle to film composer and musician Armando Trovagioli after a six-month relationship. She would give birth to a child with Trovagioli, another son named Howard in 1963. Towards the end of Angeli's life, she increased her drinking, began to encounter financial difficulties, became addicted to prescription medications, and experienced episodes of paranoia and mental distress. This resulted in Angeli being forced to relinquish custody of both her sons to their respective fathers. Angeli and Trovagioli would divorce in 1969. That same year, Pierre Angeli was admitted by her mother and sister to two separate psychiatric clinics in Italy and France, respectively, after a nervous breakdown. After her tenure at these two facilities, Angeli returned to the United States. She was tempted by close friend and fellow actress Debbie Reynolds to resume an acting career in Hollywood, finding tenancy at her friend Helena Sorrell's apartment in Beverly Hills, California. Before her death, she was receiving medical treatment from her physician, Dr. Ramon Spritzler, for a stomach ailment. A day before her death, her physician responded went to see Angeli after a distress call from Angeli. He administered her a 10 mg shot of the antipsychotic tranquilizing drug Compazine to relax her. This was administered as a substitute to her prescribed dosage of the sedative drug glutathamide, also known by the brand name Doradin. On September 10, 1971, Sorrel discovered Angeli dead in their Beverly Hills home. Pierre Angeli was just 39 years old. A later autopsy conducted on Angeli by coroner Thomas Noguchi determined her death to be due to a fatal barbiturate intoxication, specifically of the barbiturate phenobarbital. Anaphylaxis was suspected to have played a part in her death, though this was ruled out. Myocarditis, pulmonary edema, and pulmonary vascular congestion were observed on Angeli's body post-mortem. It is widely circulated that Angeli overdosed with the intention of suicide. Though this has not been officially ruled, a memorial service was held for Pier Angeli on September 13, 1971, at the Roman Catholic Church of the Good Shepherd in Beverly Hills, California. It was attended by her mother, twin sister Marissa Pavan, ex-husband Vic Damone, her son Perry, Liza Minnelli, and the families of Kirk Douglas, Lisa Jordan, and Stuart Stern. After the service, her body was transported to France and was buried at Cimetière des Bulvis in Ruelle Malmaison, France.